Welcome into Chase Field in downtown Phoenix. A great night for baseball ahead on the show. It's the Miami Marlins and the Arizona Diamondbacks. And we'll be back for the first pitch right after this. About to get started here. Towing the slab in today's game. Slade Ciccone. But Chris, he hasn't exactly been stellar here on his home mound. Well, I'll say this. Every player wants to perform well at their home ballpark, in front of their fans, in front of the city. And you know this guy no different. He wants to be more effective here. So, you know, you look at the numbers. They haven't been great at home. I'm sure he wants to turn that around, and we'll see if he's able to start that in this one. Jazz Chisholm Jr. leading things off and takes a strike. Here comes a pinch. Bounding ball here, rolls foul. The wind of the pitch. Knocks that one away, and we'll do it again. Great swing and solid contact. Just a little too quick. He's got to stay back a little longer. Ripped to short. Sends it to first. One up, one down. And time now for the Marlins lineup. And so far this year, this has not been a very good offense. Well, in this day and age, if you can't slug and get on base, that OPS has to be at a certain level. If you're going to produce runs, give your pitchers an opportunity as they're facing tough offenses as well. Brian De La Cruz, batting with one down, takes a strike. One out, base is empty. Good eye right there. That one called just inside, I think, and on the mound. He's trying to get a little bit of an explanation. Doesn't seem to be too bothered by it, though, but he clearly thought it clipped the corner. The pitch. And Whoa, another ball. Out. Goes down looking. Here's Josh Bell. He's been tearing it up at the plate recently, batting over 300 so far this month. Just off the inside edge. Two outs, space is empty. Next pitch in for a strike, and it's one and one. One one is fouled off. Out to short, Newman. Zips it to first. Marlins set down in order. Miami down in order. And now the Diamondbacks will get their first turn at bat. No score. You're watching Major League Baseball on the show. here in the desert and today's starter Jesus Lazardo. Chris he's got the ability to take control of the game when he's out there. Well incredible mound presence and he's going to attack hitters. Look at that strikeout per nine ratio over 10 coming into this start. So he's a pitcher that wants the ball. He's aggressive. He knows that he can get the swing and miss especially when he needs it most. We'll see how effective he is in this one. This is Corbin Carroll. The line to kick the pitch. Swung on, popped up on the infield. Settles under this one. Makes the catch, and there's one gone. Okay, let's check out the lineup. Someone who makes things happen for them, in part with his legs, Jake McCarthy. 
Well, Boog, there aren't many guys who have a flair for the big moment like he does. I mean, batting over 400 with runners in scoring position. Are you kidding me? I know it's not guaranteed or an automatic, but I hope we get to see him in a close late game situation with runners in scoring position and just see, is he truly a machine or not? One down, base is empty. Sharp grounder, that's through for a base hit. Couldn't have timed it up any better than that. Really nice job staying up the middle with his approach. He didn't try to do too much with the pitch, just shot it through the infield. And now Jack Peterson. He's someone that really beats up on right-handed pitching. The lefties, however, give him a little bit more trouble. Lazardo checks over to first, and he's back. That one called a strike, and it's 0-1. And the pitch. Swing and a high fly ball down the left field line, but hooking foul. With two strikes, may see some movement over there at first base, trying to stay out of the double play right here. One ball. That misses the two zone. Strikes. And a count one and two on Jock. Swing and a miss, struck him out. Well, that slider down and away, it's just kind of a slow depth. With two strikes, you're looking to protect, and halfway to the plate, you know you've committed, and you know you're going to have no chance of touching it. Tell you what, sometimes it's at the tip of cap. And now it's Christian Walker. Definitely scuffling at the dish lately, under the Mendoza line so far this month. There's a swing and a drive. Hits the fence. Here comes Marte around third. The relay to the plate. He's safe as he gets his hand in. Well, that started and ended pretty quickly. No messing around right there. Just a solid swing right there. Caught it out flying. He ripped it into the outfield for the base hit. Those always feel great. Man at second here with two away. Now it's going to be Lourdes Goriel Jr. Just missed. Walker at second with two down. And two another ball. ball. In for a strike. And it's two and one. Kicks and fires. Whoa, and that's man. off the inside edge. Three balls and a strike. And that one hammered for reaching back towards the wall. And he brings it in on the warning track. But a run will score in the inning on this RBI double. It's an early 1-0 lead. Major League Baseball is on the show. Here at Chase Field, and now Jesus Sanchez. The pitch. And immediately pumps in a strike to the left handed hitter. Next pitch is downstairs. James Kingsley, our plate umpire, consistent and maybe a little generous on the edges. Yeah, but he'll give a little bit on the edges, like you said, but from what I've seen, he usually does that when a pitcher is just commanding those parts of the strike zone, and essentially they've earned it. The umpire rolls with him. Swings through it, and that's a strikeout. 
Well, that's always the key to effective pitching is getting ahead in the count. And as a pitcher, it really allows you to start expanding the zone. Hitters become defensive, and all of a sudden that plate starts to get really wide. And what happens is because of the pressure, you end up committing to a pitch as a batter before you recognize what it is, and that's what leads to the strikeout. Jake ball Berger one. stands in here, takes ball one low. Berger measures six feet two inches, 27 years old, and they went out and made a trade for him last season. Bounce to third. And a couple He's of quick out. outs. That is it. The left fielder, number one, Nick Gordon. Here's the left fielder, Nick Gordon. Right yeah. through there for a strike. Oh, and one. The Marlins down by a run here at the top of the second. Right side, Marte fires over the first, and it's a one-two-three inning. And the Marlins down quietly, still behind by a count of one to nothing. We head to the bottom of the second, and here is Jake McCarthy. The pitch. Late with the swing there. Just not able to catch up to that velocity. That's off the mark, and the count even one and one. Left-hand hitter waits. And another ball. Swing and a miss, and that's strike two. Just a really nice slider down and in there. He wants to get the hitter thinking fastball, speed him up, and just subtract some velocity and add a little movement. That misses, and that's ball three. Really close pitch down around the knees there, and you could see him asking where it missed. Probably doesn't agree, but it appears he's ready to move on to the next pitch. Kicks and deals. Got him looking, and there's one down. And Eugenio Suarez up to hit down. Hey. And there's a strike. Lazardo certainly has electric stuff, considered by many to be a strikeout pitcher. He might not be at the top level in that category, but strikeout's a big part of his game. And it's fouled away. And he doesn't beat himself. I mean, he's going to throw strikes. He's not going to issue many free passes. And he's going to keep the ball in the ballpark. One down, base is empty. That oh. misses the zone, and yeah, the count one and two. So when you look at that, he's not completely preventing guys from hitting home runs, but he's so consistent that you look up, by the time he gives the ball over, it's the sixth or seventh inning, and Got there's him. one or two runs on the board at most. Batting Whips it across, two up, two down. Gabriel Moreno. And now, Gabriel Moreno. This guy, one of the best defensive catchers going. You talk about framing, the ability to block, catch, and throw. He is at the top of the game. And first offering is fouled off. Really good athlete. And many times we talk about, you know, the feet of infielders. This catcher as well, really quick feet. He's able to recognize. The well, we'll hold that thought as that's the third out, and we'll end the inning. Nothing doing for Arizona, but they still lead it 1-0. And welcome back to the ballpark. Here's the second baseman, Otto Lopez. Sacconi back to work. Yep, that ball went out. The only adjustment he needs to make is his target. If you aim at the outside corner, that slider's going to end up way off the plate. Perhaps look a little more down the middle, and you get it right where you want it. Center field. Carroll moves towards it. 
No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. One away. And now it's Vidal Bruhan. That one's in there on one. And there's the strike. Quickly into an 0-2 count. Both pitches were down in the zone. I think you set your sights a little bit higher because you'll have a tendency to chase if you look down in that area. Looking to get the tying run on base. And a ball evens the count. He's trying to stay down in the zone, but the hitter just will not chase. Now back in a 2-2 count, he's going to have to go to something else to get him out. And it skips into there. Holding on to a one-run lead. We're here in the top half of inning number three. Ripped on the ground a second. Marte throws the first in time. And there are two outs. Nick Fortes, the next to hit. And that one fouled off. Two outs. And it's even up. That's down and in. Two balls, one strike. Next offering is in for a strike. That one ripped. McCarthy going back. He won't get there. That should be extra bases. And now the tying run is into scoring position. Well, patience and discipline paid off right there as he got into an advantage count. Put a very nice swing on that pitch right there. Got one to drive and just kept it fair down that right field line and into the corner. And it's almost impossible to track those down as an outfielder. Now a pretty big at bat coming up with a chance to even this ball game up. Jazz Chisholm Jr. now. 0 for 1 so far. And that's outside. 1 and 0. Oh. Fortes stands at second with two gone. Swung on, belted. Carroll on the move, racing back. Up against the wall and brings it in. That does it for the offense, but not before they manage to break up the perfect game. It's the Diamondbacks one and the Marlins nothing. And we're back, except for the bottom of the third, and the batter will be the shortstop, Kevin Newman. And a pitch. Swing and a miss. Looked off balance that time. And that one missing low. And a good eye there. Here's a swing and a drive left field, and he knew it. Third home run of the season. It's 2 nothing. This crowd is on fire right now. They're going nuts thanks to that home run.
Anytime you have a pitch down the middle of the plate, the percentages go up for the hitter to do damage, even if it's a pretty good sinker like that one. Nice piece of hitting there at the plate. Corbin Carroll getting ready to hit. Just oh, missed. Swings through that one for strike one. But the big bat's coming up and a home run already surrendered. He's really going to have to execute against these next couple of batters. In the air right field. Sanchez gets under it. Puts it away for the out. And there's one down. Lefties can definitely be a little pull happy up there, especially with pitches that they see pretty well. That was a good example. He hooked an outside pitch, hit that ball in the air to right, just not with much authority. Marte stands in now and watches strike one. One run across in the frame so far here in the last half of the third. Next oh, offering upstairs. The 1-1 one -one is fouled off. One down, base is empty. On the ground, a third. Fires across oh. the diamond. They get the out on Marte. Good sinker low in the zone right there and produced exactly what he was looking for. Ball on the ground. Nice ground out. Two outs. Space is empty. Here's Jack Peterson. He struck out swinging at his first at bat. And yeah, that's a little bit high. And that's ball one. Two down, nobody on. And now two and one. Two balls, one strike. In the air, left side. Sizing this one up. Brings it in for the third out. One in the inning, and it comes from a rather unlikely power source. It's now a 2 nothing ball game. You're dialed into the show. Here in the desert, John Chompy with Chris Singleton and set to lead off the fourth, Brian De La Cruz. And here it comes. Misses inside. Ball one. Right side, hard hit. Marte oh. throws the first in time. That's the first out in the top of the fourth. Couple of pitches and a quick out. And now the switch hitting first baseman, Josh Bell. That misses the zone, ball one. Wouldn't no, chase that like time. Well, usually a high level of confidence when you're facing a young pitcher out there on the mound. In this situation, ahead 2-0, he's put himself in a really good spot. That one down the line oh, and that? foul ball. One down, base is empty. And a swing and a miss there. <laughs> Hit. So a man aboard now with one away. 
Nice line drive to the pull side right there, but he didn't spin off of it. That's the key. You still have to extend through the baseball in order to hit a line drive like that. Man at first with one gone. Jesus Sanchez nope. okay. will hit next. With the tying run at the plate, top half of inning number four. Swing and a miss, strike one. Well, there's a certain point where you have to commit to what you think you see, and he guessed wrong right there. Nasty slider with just terrific bite at the end. That one ran inside, almost got him. Tying run at the plate. Strike in the outside corner. And the count is two and two. Backdoored him with a breaking ball. Just got the corner. There's nothing you can really do with that. In the air, out towards left center. Carroll snags it on the run. Down the third baseman, Jake Berger. He's over one. Pitch is in there. Strike one. Right through there for a strike. And a bat like this is almost over as it begins. In this situation, you have no idea what the next pitch is going to be. You just got to hope that you can make contact. That's the third. The throw to first. Third out. Marlins lead one, and they're down two nothing. Bottom four. Now at the plate, Christian Walker. The first baseman, Christian Walker, and a pitch. Ground ball up the middle, sneaks through, base hit, and the leadoff man aboard. And it's Lourdes Goriel Jr. Fly to left his first time. The hit behind with that swing. It's strike one. Well, he's looking great so far. It helps when over 80% of your first pitches are strikes. He might be able to go the distance if he keeps this up. Walker aboard here at first with nobody out. That misses. And one and one. That one drifts inside. Well, these Diamondbacks doing a great job, Boog, of just waiting for the right pitch to come their way. And I'm seeing very patient at bats out of them. They're doing a good job of working the pitch count. One at second, not in time at first. It's a fielder's choice. Still relatively early, but with the pair of runs already on the board, the ripple effect of that high pitch count might set them up to do more damage later in this game. Jake McCarthy digs in now. Struck out looking at his first at bat. Strike on the inside corner. Fought off foul. Man at first, one away. Spoils the two strike pitch and he'll see another. And now the lefty Three. sets him down looking. Throws him with the heater at the knees. The bat. The third base hey, Eugenio Suarez up to the plate now. This splits between oh, April and May there. First Ooh, offering, and it just misses. Step off, throw to first, and he's back in safely. Ow. 
Swings through that one for strike two. One ball, two strikes. Three. Struck him out looking. One left for the Diamondbacks, but they're on top two nothing. New inning getting started. Now the left fielder, Nick Gordon. A wind in the pitch. Just missed. You know, these Marlins need to bring up the quality of their bats and specifically their swings. Just one extra base hit for them, so they haven't exactly been hitting the ball gap to gap or out of the park. That makes it really difficult to generate runs. And he swings and lifts one to deep center field. This one's got a chance. And caught on the warning track. Not quite enough behind that one. Now here is Otto Lopez. 0 for 1 with a fly out to center. First pitch and he just misses. Swing and a foul pushed off to the right and that will get out of play. Righty to the plate. Off the mark there. Ball two. The fish trailing by two. And we're at the top of the fifth. Next offering is in for a strike. And another ball. Oh, he gloves it. From his knees, the throw on the money. Nice play. Look at how he dives right there. He's able to pop up to both knees. Not enough time to get to his feet, but he threw a cannon across the diamond to get the runner. So they're down to their final out. And now the shortstop, Vidal Brujan. That one ripped left field. Way back there. And that one is out of here. A solo shot. And they're on the scoreboard. It's 2-1. They wasted no time in that at bat. Swinging at the first pitch, and he punished it. A good hitter gets pitch recognition early. He saw exactly where that was going to be. The challenge, not get over anxious and come out of your swing. He stayed on it and got all of it. And now the catcher comes up to him. Nick Fortes. In there and it's on one. On one. And the righty deals. That's in there. That's strike two. The Marlins down to their final strike. Pitch in the dirt, and the count is one and two. Right hander kicks deals. Got him, and that's the ball game. Well, a tight 2-1 ball game, classic pitching and defense in this game. A lot of good execution, and neither team really beat themselves by way of mistakes. But ultimately, it came down to one or two key plays to make the difference for the win. And your final score here today, 2-1. For Chris Singleton and our entire crew here at MLB The Show, thanks for stopping by. I'm John Chomby. Talk to you soon.